Iowa Republicans will likely confront temperatures dipping below zero degrees Fahrenheit next week when they kick off the 2024 election cycle, the record-breaking forecast could complicate candidates' hopes of making their own history in the state's lead-off presidential caucuses, the candidates are publicly expressing optimism that their supporters will show up no matter how bad the weather is. But the snow and cold already have thwarted candidates' plans to crisscross Iowa and make their final pitches to voters, Katie Miller braved the snow to see Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley in Waukee, Iowa, on Tuesday. Miller isn't sure who she'll support on January 15, but she's sure she'll be there despite a frigid, slap-you-in-the-face cold night in the forecast, if you were in Iowa, you shouldn't be afraid of the cold, she said, National Weather Service data shows there has never been a colder Iowa caucus night than what's forecast for January 15. The previous coldest was in 2004, when the high temperature for that year's January 19 caucuses was 16 degrees, we may not warm above zero degrees on Monday, Des Moines-based meteorologist Chad Hahn said. No snow, rain, or sleet is expected Monday, and snow tends to be less likely with temperatures that low. Barring a major ice storm, Republican Party of Iowa Chairman Jeff Kaufman said, Iowans won't be dissuaded by low temperatures, this is the heartland, and we're first in the nation for a reason, Kaufman said. Normal people that just look right at the wind and right at the temperatures and say, bring it on. The Iowa GOP says caucus sites were chosen with convenience and comfort in mind, including taking into account where people would have to wait to register or to sign in. It does not anticipate many voters having to wait in line outside. If you are in Iowa, you shouldn't be afraid of the cold. <laughs> okay, you're used to it. Yes, yes. Bundle up, layer up. That's it. Yep. I'll be, there. <laughs> I'll be there if I can, yes. You know, this is Iowa in the winter, and uh, yes, I'm sure some of our, our national press would rather be in South Carolina. But you know what? This is the heartland and we're first in the nation for a reason. Normal people that just look right at the wind and right at the temperatures and say, bring it on.